speak for the entire Commission in welcoming you all to the 2010 Australian Human Rights Awards. It seems to me that wider respect for human rights requires that we expand our imaginations so that our empathy reaches also to those whose lives are markedly different from ours. It's my hope that we will as a country move to a position in which none of us experiences violence, harassment or bullying without a neighbour stepping to our defence. Thank you. great cause for hope and optimism in this time. I think we've learnt that to communicate human rights uh, we have to be talking about personal stories, that we have to move beyond the statistics. For encouraging audiences to look past the sensational news headlines and the political rhetoric that sees refugees and asylum seekers are far more than just statistics, Football United <laughs> passed off the page. The truth is, even though you saw a lot of football on the screen, uh, this isn't a sports story, and actually it's not even about human rights. It's about one inalienable human right, and that's the right to be a child. Each year, Australia grants visas to about 13,000 humanitarian refugees, among them thousands of children who have survived some of the worst crimes in history. The Football United program was founded in 2006 to give them and other disadvantaged youth a safe haven in Australia. Young People's Human Rights Medal for 2010 will be awarded to Jack Manning Bancroft. And that's the exciting thing. I think that's a challenge for everyone here today, I suppose, to start thinking of Indigenous Australia and moving it away from an obligation to an opportunity. And I can promise you, in the next generation of kids, we're going to see the first Aboriginal Prime Minister. We've already seen the first Aboriginal doctors. The winner of the 2010 Human Rights Medal goes to Therese Rain. Um. What I would say is that people with disabilities are just people. They're worthy of respect, honour, um, and as being treated as unique individuals with unique potential. Um, they are valuable, precious members of our community, and I am honoured to celebrate them. I'm very proud of her for what she's achieved, but maybe more importantly, the reasons that have motivated her. I just wanted to say I know she's deeply honoured, but I'm also just a little bit proud of it too. Thank you.